I'm Lon with Rock Top Construction. I just returned from a roofing expo uh, where they gave contractors hats. But what I want to talk about today is ADUs, accessory dwelling units, and the different types. And what type might be the best choice for you? That would depend on a number of things, your desires, your wants, but also the property that you have. If you happen to have an unfinished basement, there's an opportunity right there to make some cash. Uh, if you wanted to finish that basement and make it an extended uh, living space for extended family, you could have access from inside, but you could also make a private entrance from the outside. That way you can seal that door up top and you could rent out that space. So depending on your situation, you have that adaptability. Another opportunity would be a standalone, like a tiny home in the backyard or the side where um, again, you could use it for multiple purposes. You could rent it on a permanent basis or just use it for overflow if you're entertaining. So a lot of it depends on what your needs are. Another thing that we like to do is put a studio on top of a garage and make a, a quaint little studio for uh, a lot of times near college towns. These are very effective for people that want to be close to the university and uh, find something affordable at the same time. We even had somebody turn a shed into a small ADU and advertise it and it was so quaint that that and the garage studio this person did is paying their entire mortgage. I'm Lon with Rock Top Construction. If you have any questions about ADUs, let's take a look at your property and the things you're interested in and see what we can do for you.